Breaking news. There has been a ruling by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal regarding live broadcast. That ruling just dropped right now. They have refused that prayer to allow broadcast of their proceedings live. They have refused it. They said they dismissed the motion in fact. And their reason is that it is a policy and administrative matter which the custodians of the judiciary, which is the National Judicial Council, should consider. And as a tribunal, they have no powers to decide that matter. It's not something they can support. It is the National Judicial Council can decide because it's something administrative. If broadcast of court proceedings can be allowed in Nigeria, it does not rest on them. That is what they have decided. We also have information that certain individuals have already written the Chief Justice of Nigeria before. And these people are called the CJN, CEJ, Coalition for Electoral Justice. They already wrote the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ariwola, in his capacity as the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the chairman also of the National Judicial Council to grant permission for live broadcast. They have already done that. But this group, the Electoral Justice Coalition, said that up to today, they have not gotten any reply from the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ariwola, that if the Chief Justice of Nigeria has considered their letter within good time, since about two weeks they wrote him, this matter could have been decided. So it is left for the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the National Judicial Council to decide whether court proceedings can be broadcast in Nigeria. It does not rest with this tribunal. That is unfortunate because he has denied Nigerians the opportunity of following life what is happening in that tribunal. He has denied people the opportunity to actually understand how this election rigging happened, who did what. He has denied them opportunity to look the judges in the face and see how they come out with this their decision. Sometimes, some of them, very controversial. He could have afforded people an opportunity to actually get into the brain of these judges and see how they make these decisions. It has denied us the opportunity for our democracy to grow because everything would have been in the open now and people will begin to understand the politicians will be more careful anything about anything they do in the future. It has denied us the opportunity to put the electoral umpire eye neck on the scale and take our periscope or microscope and look deep into the activities to understand what Mahmoud Yakubu and his people did. He has denied us that opportunity. This is a legal matter. You can probably blame the justices, the justices in this uh, tribunal, but it looks to me like their reasoning um, is in line because it is something that concerns the whole court process. It will not be only televised the uh, hearing in this election petition court. What of the other ones? So that decision needs to be made by the appropriate body. So the ball rotates back now and it stops on the table of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ariwola. This is the breaking news from the court and we are bringing it to you right away. Please stay tuned because we have about more videos to release because this is the only thing, not the only thing that happened at the court today. We will see you in our next video. Please subscribe.
so that you will be duly informed.